Oh, hey everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight along with... Face and mighty Lieutenant Drukeel at your service, along with Rain and Thunder. Very, very fr Damn it, I butchered that <laughs> meme! Thunder and Lightning, very, very frightening. 
That's the one. Okay. <laughs> we were originally thinking about doing L.A. Noir together with Rom, but it seems that something popped up last minute with him. So, yeah, we'll be continuing with Dust and Legion Tale. And I see someone already jumped into chat there, even though they haven't spoke. <laughs> Speak of the devil. <laughs> Hello, Marco. You doing good today? Bless you, Marco. Okay. Let's resume. <laughs> I choose so much dust and not a desert in sight, huh? Uh, uh, game, what? Okay, why is it... <laughs> I guess it called home you while you in there. <laughs> I guess for some reason it isn't responding. It, what the... Why is it talking about these controls? Okay. Okay. Give me a sec here. Okay. And if I just... Okay, why is it not responding to the controller for all of a sudden? And that's good to hear, Marco. Uh, let's see. Help and options. Controls. Okay, what is going on with this? Is there something going on with Steam input or something? Let me take a look. We didn't have this last time, so I don't see why it would happen now. Uh, let's see. In-game, is that is it under there somewhere? Uh, screenshots, no. Let's see here. Controller. Yeah, is that a cat somewhere? Unsure no. about cat. I don't think he's a cat. In some yeah. right... Uh, I, would, I would say sword master for now. Okay, guess we'll have to play with the mouse for a bit. Or mouse and keyboard. But yeah. <laughs> Samurai bit closer-ish, I guess. Okay. I don't get why all of a sudden it's not taking the <clears throat> controller's inputs for movement here, but oh well. Uh, let's see, we'll have to sort of figure out... Okay, Q and E are the dodges. Give me that. Alright, last time we met Dust here along with Fidget and the Blade of Aura, and uh, yeah, <laughs> he doesn't remember a thing of what he of his life before they just met. So, yeah, we're going to figure out what the hell is going on. Uh, let's see, do, what's, what button is Fidget's attack? I'm trying out randomly at the moment. Uh, okay, middle mouse button. Uh, fuck, okay, what's going on, Marco? Hello, spore what thing. The... Anyways, how, how's your day been other than uh, apparently a fight with a gacha game? Yeah, this is... Wait. Okay, I'm con trying to control her again. For some reason, B is jump. Okay, why does it... I don't get what is going on with this. Uh, uh, oh, that... I did not mean to just jump out of the game. Okay, we'll have to redo a little bit then. Actually, let me just restart the game, because for some reason the controller in it just cannot find whatever the hell is going on. So quickly restarting it. Maybe it's because I accidentally skipped the intro bits by clicking on it with the mouse. Okay, I'm playing the Final Fantasy VII Gacha game and all I'm getting is three stars. Now that's the risk with Gacha games. Okay, let me move the window up. There. Okay, autosave. There we go. 
Okay, so it was that I accidentally... That, that I accidentally interacted with the game... With, with the, the mouse first. Let's see. <laughs> you aren't a proper streamer without some scuff. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Not like we missed much. Hmm. Okay, these things are annoyingly dodgy. But yeah, I again, besides the god, the gods again. How has things been? You know, Mark, yeah, Marco. Yeah, tell me how you've been, Polo. <laughs> Almost. One letter short there. Bonk. I saw the growl went through the mic. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Again, just absolutely beautiful art that they made for this, huh? Oh, yeah, this art is wonderful. We're a little bit pixelation at the moment. I'm okay. guessing the uh, downstairs are washing liquids or something. Should be. There we go. Let us see here. From round the Marco. We, well, we are okay. Preparing for the wind by shopping wood. Okay. Just be careful to make sure the wood doesn't shop back. Alright. I believe we were heading this way. Uh, Did you, is something wrong? Yeah, the fact that we fall all the way down is wrong. <laughs> She's been silenced, Dust. While in this state, she would be unable to cast her projectiles. Fortunately, the effect is only temporary and will fade over time. You mean Fidget can't talk now? At all? That's terrible. Really awful. Not sure how I'll get by. If she had five fingers, she'd be flipping him a bird. <laughs> Uh, I've forgotten about that. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that's what the floating things do again. They cause silence. Yep, we can go through here. Yep. Okay, but we need a bomb to get through that. Okay. Oh, well, that was the bomb. There we go. Now what? Oh, hello. Hello? Uh, hello, can you hear me? Okay, this is the receiver that we are looking for. Haley, is that you? Where are you calling from? From beyond the grave! <laughs> 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 She's not wrong. Down? I'm at home with Maddie. I see you found my dad's lost receiver. Yeah, and it seems to be working. That's great. Now, if you ever need to craft an item, you can do it directly from your inventory. Now, Dots, this doesn't mean I don't want you coming up to visit me in person. But at least I can keep an eye on you and help you out whenever you need me. Sure, Haley. I really appreciate the help. Okay, that's one quest complete. Uh, let's see. This reminds me of a game, but I forgot what it was called. But I remember it insulting you by... <laughs> if you died a lot, you unlock a difficulty called Pretty Princess that changes so instead of bore, it's hearts and the screen has a shade of pink over the screen. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Only thing, thing, yeah, only thing similar I can think of is some 
I don't know if it's Doom mods or Doom games, that if you pick the lowest difficulty, your character will be displayed with... Uh, uh, what are those things called again? Unicorns? Uh, no, the... The things to keep babies quiet. Pacifier. Yeah, pacifier. Um, is there a baby pacifier? Oh, uh, random treasure key. Okay. No, you freaking don't. Yep, apparently, yes, he does. Hmm. Okay. There's this chest here, but let's leave it be because we want four for that cage and then another two for that secret area. Okay. We must be getting close. How can you tell? Look. We may still be able to save the others. Let's hurry. Okay, too late for them. Hopefully not too late for others. Right. Yep, stupid slime. <laughs> I'm pretty sure these things are stagger resistant, if not immune. Okay. All <laughs> of them just land back in a blunt, you know, bunch, a bunch. Hello? The cliff. Let's see. The words can barely be made out, but it seems to say travel far to the north, away from this place, in the highest peaks of the Blackmoor Mountains, await the soul carrying a red crystal. Okay. Let's see, Marco. Cool thing about this gacha game is that you get to see Sephiroth's backstory and replay the original stories of Final Fantasy VII and Crisis Core. And <laughs> I finally get a five star. Okay. Um, I am here to serve. There was a Final Fantasy game that I tried a while back on mobile. I've forgotten what it was called, but it was Pixel, and you had like a you had a bunch of characters. Okay. Florin spark, the electrified gland of a Florin. Okay. The Florins do still flying things. Yep. Let's see, we can sell that. Let's save all of these. Let's see, anything new that he has. Doesn't look like it. We could buy a key. Yeah, let's do that. Then we have two. Your transaction is most appreciated. Okay, two more to go for that cage. Oop. One more to go for that cage. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Okay. <laughs> okay, like I said last time, you can get really flung up high. Okay. Hello, another cage up there. I thought I remembered something about a tall area like this. Okay. How Come on, tell me are you... There we go. The moment they're gone, we lose any ability to get upward momentum. There we go. Okay, yeah, we need four keys to open cages like this. Okay. Yep, now I got all of them. Let's see, when you buy a key and find one at the entrance of the next area that you needed it for, are you fucking... 
Now, the, the keys aren't for doors or anything. They're for... Ooh. Ooh. This was done recently. We don't have time to wait for it to die out. There's got to be another way around. All right, now I remember. We're looking for the leader of the beasts that have been attacking Aurora Village. Okay. Uh, the keys are for treasure boxes, uh, Marco. Not for actual progress. Uh, wait. I'm pretty sure we can't bring those fruit over from one area to the next, so we need to find one somewhere around here. Hmm. Let's see, does it? Let's see, the mayor of Aurora has asked you to travel east to Ab Abadis Forest and find the leader of the monster attacking the of the monsters attacking the village. Okay. How do we get past this, then? Yeah, not by running into it. Hmm. Okay, there has to be an explosive somewhere around here, then. In the branches or something? Hmm. Uh, you'd think they'd be more visible with it. Or is there some other way to get around? Wait, there's an, there seems to be an opening here. Right. That doesn't do anything. I think I saw something up there. We are going up again. And, okay, there is something over there. As in, ne behind the next. The, it's just off screen now. I think it's just a gap. It, it, there is just a physical wall there. Hmm. Okay, how do we get... There's no bomb to break that upper bit open. Or do we really need to bring one over from here? But there is... Let's see if that even works. Okay, that actually works. Typically, that's not something that can actually be done. Yeah. It's kind of rare you can do that in some games like this. It's still a rarity, usually. Fire and dust. We've lost 10 guards to this monster already. He keeps bombarding us with those green flames. They almost seem to have a mind of their own. But then a sudden gust of wind blasted through the village and the flames disappeared. It stopped the creature's attack for but a, for about a moment, enough for me to escape. If only we could harness the power of a storm. Okay, that's a tip on how to deal with something that's coming. That did it! I can hear the water rushing below. You're not very subtle, but that wasn't half bad. <laughs> and that's key number four. Okay. And two war chickens. They got an imps and beasts. You feel it. Okay. All right. Now that that's covered or uncovered. Okay. What is this beast leader going to be then? At least intelligent enough to guide them into uh, strategic attacks. Let's see. Marco, as a person that knows many ways of killing and ways of traversing through dangerous things like fire, I declare the protagonist not very smart because you can see, clearly see a small opening. 
Well, you, you can't fully blame him. Okay, we can we can parry in the air. You, you can't fully blame him since, well, you see the way he wears his hat. He's lucky to be able to see his <laughs> to see two feet in front of his own pair. <laughs> okay. Hello. I am here to serve. Okay, I do like his robe. It's nothing to sell. Nothing to sell. Let's put his purple ain't it. Uh, that and the lining. Uh, I really don't like the look of this. We've made it this far, Fidget. Stay close to me and you'll be fine. What do you see, Yara? Anything? Another enemy stands before you. But this one... What is it, Ara? Such hatred. Be careful, Dust. Okay. And the, the entire village has been slaughtered. So, you've come. What have you done? You murdered all these innocent people! You dare speak to me of innocence when you have so casually slain a countless number of my children. Your children? You're talking about those monsters back there? Who are you? So... You don't remember my name. Rest assured, my friend. This time, you will not so easily forget it. Well, <laughs> I don't care what your name is. You're no different than those monsters I fought before. And like them, you will fall to my blade. You! are the only monster here, puppet. As I turn your bones to char, your final thought will be that Fuse was victorious. Now die! Okay, boss fight time. And we're kind of kicking his ass because we're in the lowest difficulty. There we go. Cut the kindling. The lights of Elysium shine upon me. But can they reach the darkness within you? What are you? Among the last of a dying breed, a once proud race extinguished by your hands. My hands? <clears throat> you and your warm blooded kin, we moon bots were outcast. Scattered to the wind. You and others like you, they came to my village, killed my family. I, I didn't. I can't remember. <sighs> there is sadness in your eyes, but it is not guilt, it is loss. After all you've done to my kind. You still think only of yourself. Perhaps that is for the best. Your leader, Gaius, he led you and your fellow assassins into battle. Assassins? 
He even murdered his own kind. Our greatest allies amongst the warm bloods. But one escaped. She was the only one I would dare spare in the slaughter that was to come. She? Who are you talking about? Who did I kill? <sighs> Who knows? Who sees? My vision has left me. I return now to the life thread and to my brethren. No, no, wait! Farewell, warm blood. Ashes to ashes. Dust to dust. We did it! He knew who I was, Fidget. He'd seen me before. If only he'd lived a moment longer. If only I'd managed to keep him alive somehow. As you can see by the dead littering this village, that would not have been a good idea. Yeah. I'm sure you're right. We should return to Aurora and report to Mayor Bram. There was also that name, Gaius. During the battle, I was studying Fuse's attacks. I think I might have picked up on his technique. I've got a feeling we'll need it. Those monsters likely won't let us leave without a fight. Let's see. Fidget has required a new projectile type. Press right mouse button and no, right, right shoulder button to cycle through Fidget available projectiles. Okay. So you can see a change there in the upper left from shots to... Let's see. A, a, a bunch of fireballs. And then we can turn it into the pillars of flame that Fuse used. And well, that was a bit of an info dump. And yet, it still hardly answered anything. Hmm. More monsters. What's the problem? They were his children. Children or not, they don't look all that happy to see us. Yeah. Hey, ugly! Are you gonna play nice? <laughs> I don't think they're going to want to play nice if you insult them first, Fidget. There's just no pleasing some people. It was a valiant <laughs> effort, Fidget. There, and we just freaking nuke all of them. <laughs> Holy! Okay. What have we here? Let's see. Sari's letter. My dearest Mosca, something terrible is happening here. The village is on fire, everyone is screaming. If you ever find this letter, I will be hiding in our secret place. Please, please hurry. Okay, that, that's the guy. That's... That's who uh, Moscow asked us to look for. Another key. Okay, we can just continue from here. Oh. Okay, that's just a uh, that's a rock that blocked the arena off. Hmm. Give me out of that. See, so there's still a bit up. Yeah, on the upside that we can look, explore. So let's go give that a look. Also, I'm pretty sure that sound effect of this one getting... Yeah, that, that, that sounds very similar to uh, the meteor spell from Technomage. Could be a stop sound. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's, yeah, somewhere around here should be a way to head up. Let's uh, oh, okay, I see how. Okay. And we can just continue and we'll head back 
for now. And yes, it is actually faster to just continuously dodge than actually walk. And maybe we should buy one of those teleporter stones just to make going back easier. No. You have slain the one known as Fuse. I had no choice. He'd lost his minds, murdered many innocents. I am not judging, friend. His death was sad, but necessary. Forgive me for asking, but are you a Moonblood? The Moonbloods. They are an ancient race, and their presence is not tolerated in these lands. One would be at a disadvantage among so many warm-blooded creatures. I understand. I believe you do not, my friend. But I will not press the matter if you do not. Yeah, okay, so that's why he's hiding in shadows. Okay. Beast spear. The, prim yeah, the, the primitive spear tip yeah, made of stone. Okay. Yeah, I noticed that this one wasn't here anymore, so we must have picked something up. Okay, one of those. Your transaction is most appreciated. Thank you. Okay. Um, yeah, let's just be a bit lazy. Save. And then we teleport. Oop. Hello. Hello. Sir. The preparations are nearly complete. We found another of their camps, but... But it was deserted, of course. Keep up your search. They're going somewhere, and we need to know where that is. Of course, sir. If that's all... That's a familiar voice with this one. What of the rumors, Commander? Is there any truth to them at all? We are investigating, sir. But surely you don't believe. Commander, it is not your place to question what I believe. Our moment of glory draws near, and I want results. As you wish, General. Where are you, my friend? Why are you hiding from me? Okay. You got something? Please let me know if you. I'll keep my eyes. All right. Much appreciate. Oh yeah, he wants uh, beast hides, I believe. You may have some. Not enough, I think. <laughs> it's great to see you back, son. I knew you could do it. The monsters have already calmed their advance. Tell me what happened. Did you confront their leader? He was right where you said he'd be. In fact, he seemed to be waiting for us. Waiting? In the middle of a small village, surrounded by the innocents he killed. Oh no, that could only be Denham Village. Did you find any survivors? I'm sorry, Mayor Bram, but there were none. This creature that attacked the village, he was some kind of lizard, wore strange armor, called himself Fuse. A lizard, you say? Hmm. A moonblood, perhaps. I wonder if Ginger would know anything about that. Ginger? That girl up on the hill? Her family was killed almost a year ago in Zeplik Village, a few days' journey to the north. General Gaius and his soldiers were looking for Moonblood sympathizers. General Gaius? Do you know who he is? Not personally. His is not a name we utter here without proper cause. I've never seen him or his soldiers personally, but tragedy tends to follow in their wake. So why did they kill Ginger's family? They were helping the Moonbloods, of course. Helping the enemy is a treasonous offense. Ginger escaped, but her parents and her brother did not. Regardless, I can't thank you enough for putting a stop to that mad beast before he came any closer to Aurora. If you want to ask Ginger about Fuse, I'd suggest you hurry. 
It looked like she was preparing to leave town for a while. Good luck. Yeah, that explains a bit about why she is uh, a bit cold. Let's see. It was down here again. Yeah. All right. Hello. Oh, hey. Oh, Dust. We are indebted to you for what you've done for us. Gian and I are just going to rest for a bit here in Aurora. Hey there, Pizza. You, you still doing good? Actually, Hello, Pizza. maybe you could speak with him. He would never admit it to me, but I just know something is troubling him. Of course. Where is he now? He's been pacing near the west entrance of the village, near the field where you rescued us. Thank you, Dust, for everything. Okay, right, let's see. Quest. Uh, right. I'll do the one over I here. I don't get it! Why would anyone want to help those awful lizard things? That fuse guy burned down an entire village! Let's see, pizza. I was doing good till I came into stream and while my Twitch is, uh, Twitch is glitched. <laughs> A smash? What? Don't you understand, Fidget? He wasn't born that way. General Gaius and his soldiers turned him into that monster. And Fuse is likely not the only one corrupted by General Gaius's hatred of the Moonbloods. We should speak to Ginger again to learn more about this conflict. Hmm. Yeah, he may not have been. He may not have been born that uh, like that. But that doesn't excuse him from, well, the murders that he committed. It makes it understandable why he committed them. It does not excuse it all the same. Uh, let's see. Yeah, for me it says you guys have been streaming for six hours, which you obviously have not. <laughs> okay, that's weird. Oh, you again. Mayor Bram said you'd left already. Yes, he asked us to stop the leader of these monsters. Turns out it was a Moonblood named Fuse. He'd gone completely insane. Fuse? Oh no. He was leading those monsters? You killed him? So you know him then? Was he always a homicidal pyromaniac? Subtle. It jets. What? No, never! Why did you kill him? He destroyed Denim Village, Ginger, slaughtered dozens of innocent people. He refused to listen to reason and planned to attack Aurora next. I had to stop him. This war is turning all of us into monsters. Thank you, then, for releasing Fuse from his madness. Right before the end, he seemed lucid. He told me a few things before he passed. He tried to tell me about the war, about your family. He was there the day my family was killed, yes. He was picking up supplies to bring back to his people. General Gaius attacked our village, burned it to the ground. I thought Fuse had been killed. Now I wish he had. I'm sorry. And why is that? The last time I saw an outfit like yours was the day my family was murdered. That outfit, it belongs to Gaius's soldiers. Who are you, really? Well, that's a nice bit of info. I don't know. That is not an answer. Hey, ease off. Dust can't remember, okay? He doesn't even know his real name. You know, you should be more thankful. He just saved this village twice, and I... Well, I watched him do it. And I'm also really hungry. Fidget. Fidget, please calm down. She's right to be suspicious. I don't know who I am, but I'm dressed as one of Gaius' soldiers, and that can't be good. Yeah, that can't also have been good for Fuse's opinion of us. Perhaps. But your friend is right. You saved my village twice today. Gaius and his soldiers would never do that, especially if they knew I was here. Uh, let's see. Pizza. Ta -ta -ta. Yeah, for me it's a ta -ta -ta, which you obviously haven't. Turquoise and black strange combo, but I, I mess with it. Uh, I'm guessing that's a uh, autocorrect or something. Technically, that is an answer. Fidget reminds me of Paimon from Genshin Impact. 
Now, in some ways, they're a bit similar, as in they constantly hover along with you. Why is Gaia so obsessed with killing these Moonbloods? What do they do? Nothing. They exist. General Gaia sees them as an impurity, a kind of cosmic mistake that he believes must be wiped from this world. Great. Oh no. I've tried to help where I can, but it's hard. There aren't many Moonbloods left outside of their homeland, and it's only a matter of time before Gaius wipes them out entirely. Let's see, what is an autocorrect? The uh, turquoise and black strange combo, but I mess with it? Like, you mean something other than mess there? Or, or I think you did... Think Yeah, think you might have meant mesh? Is there anything I can do to help? If only one man could stand against an army. Sadly, no. There's nothing any of us can do. Any hope for the Moonbloods died with my family. Let's see. No, no, trying not to curse, you know? Okay. Then I'll just have to curse for you. <laughs> I meant mess with it. Okay. Mayor Bram mentioned you were leaving town. Yes. The rivers and streams around Aurora are beginning to dry up completely. Without water, the only thing to do is head north. It's only a matter of time before the others follow me. Well, that's also not good. Why would the rivers all be drying up? It's not like it's been very hot. And wasn't there a big rainstorm a little while ago? I know, it doesn't make any sense. To be honest, I think this whole country is cursed. General Gaius' bloodlust has scorched this land forever. I doubt we'll ever recover. If the only way to stop this war is to stop General Gaius, then I need to know where to find him. It is allowed to pizza up. I do it. So everyone in chat is allowed to. This campaign yeah, the, continues this to is a... If you want to help right the wrongs of your kind, you're free to join me. I'm afraid. Yeah, this is a, a this is a stream where we do mature games and such as well. And I'm pretty sure you can't call this a kitty game anymore after an entire village got slaughtered. Let's oh. see, I've a pizza. I have literally never heard you ever curse. That you've just then you've just been missing the fun streams. So I don't. I haven't been doing it as much recently. I think. Yeah, like yeah, there has been games where you were cursing a bit more, like something doom where you were really getting pissed off. Yeah. I'm afraid I'm going to have to be interrupted. Oh, it came from the center of the village. But the... Ah! What are these things? Monsters! Ginger, get down! Yep. <laughs> we just airstrike them out of the air. And that's the last of them. Ginger, are you okay? I'm... I'll be fine. You should go down below and find out what's happening. All right. You shouldn't stay here, Ginger. It's too dangerous. Head north. We'll catch up with you after we've gotten to the bottom of this. Stay safe, Dust. We'll meet again at Rowan Pass, at the foot of the Blackmore Mountains. Another level. Let's see. What the heck was that? Is that from down here? Yep. Well, it might as well have been from down here. Okay. Oh, hello there. <laughs> well now, would you look at this? Seems our village has got itself a new basement. You're optimistic about a giant fucking hole in the ground. You don't seem too concerned. <laughs> Trust me, not much happens here. So when things start crawling out of the ground, you pull up a chair and enjoy the show. <laughs> okay. Okay, Augustine, but promise me that you'll stay here. I don't need anyone getting hurt. Bah! Don't let you have all the fun? Well, I guess you're the one with the sword, after all. <laughs> Get back up, you stupid mouse. <laughs> Wait, uh, is that the mouse that has been terrorizing uh, Pizza? Maybe. He's a bit buff. What's all this? These flags are a warning. The area up ahead is among the most dangerous of places. The challenges and creatures within are unlike anything you've dealt with before. Death 
will come swiftly if you are not prepared. I think I've heard of these arenas. It's rumored they contain precious treasures. Hey, your memory's coming back. Just little bits here and there. Think we should go in? Oh, um, I certainly hope you're safe. <laughs> Fourth wall getting pricks. <laughs> Okay, Ooh, I yeah. think I remember, yeah. Let's see. Welcome to the challenge arena. Defeat enemies and destroy lamps for points. You will lose points for, by taking damage. Complete the challenge quickly for a score bonus. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, it would be a good idea to get a save before doing that. So let's just head the other way. Uh, let's see. Ta -ta. <clears throat> uh, damn. So is this a monarchy going or a dictatorship? We don't actually know. And I'm not actually sure if you, we actually get anything specific about that. Uh, why, Marco, why don't they, they use guns? Because they haven't been invented in this world. Uh, pizza, I mean, it can be both of them are the same color. Uh, pizza, ladies and gentlemen, we got them. The account finally recovered. Uh, what? Your account, it had been taken away, right? Uh, it, it will be. Uh, what? <laughs> uh, oh, here's a save point. What are you two on about? Did Marco get a warning or something? Okay, uh, trial number two. Okay. Yes, that means we missed one somewhere? Or there is one further back? Looks we like. Do get to now? Okay. I'm pretty sure this attack is more powerful, but it also blocks our sight quite, uh, by quite a bit. There we go. We haven't had enough death traps in <laughs> life goes on uh, already today. Yep, damn it. Yeah, dust, it does it uh, slides on for a little bit more after you stop actually holding down the control stick. Let's see. Uh, oh, apparently his mother uh, had taken the thingy from him. Okay. Because I think I saw a video that recently the, the, the psychologist is... I haven't watched the video, but it seems to hint that punishing children and teens by taking away the games from them is not good for their mental health. Yeah. Let's see, I, yeah, pretty sure we we didn't get the last of the lamps there, but oh well. Still got three stars out of four. And we get yeah. wetsuit. Okay, worn by those who would travel to the depths of Falana, Falana's waterways and oceans. 25 defense and four luck. Let's get that. Uh, let's see. Da -da -da. Mm -hmm. And I lost my second phone, so no staying up late. Uh, well, the device uh, Mark uses to watch Twitch has been taken by his mother, so he had to use an alt account to watch Twitch. Yeah, he had lost uh, at random Marco and at random Marco one. Uh, no, we were talking about my limited online time. That when it's over, my mother takes my phone, and I lost my second phone, which had uh, the alt on it. So no staying up late. Okay, gotta go. See it. Uh, so am I guessing this is an action platformer? Yeah. It is. Okay. Oh, that was a pretty good reward. Not sure if we would get other rewards for other scores, but we'll have to see. For now, let's heal. Put on another save. Okay. End of the line. Looks like a pretty nasty drop. 
<laughs> yes, very nasty. We should go around, I think. There's no time to find another route. Those monsters came up through here. There's got to be a path down below. Well, here goes nothing. Famous last words. Bonk. Yo, that is a long drop. <laughs> Good thing that dust has shock absorbers for kneecaps, otherwise he wouldn't have any kneecaps left. <laughs> Fidget, you need to calm down. I thought you said you weren't afraid of the dark. I'm not afraid of the dark. I'm afraid of the things in the dark. I don't see anything, Fidget. Pull your hat off, dumbass. Maybe you'll see then. How could you possibly see anything in here with that big hat over your eyes? I hate caves. Our kind isn't meant to be underground. We should be soaring high in the wide open sky. Yeah, didn't you say you were afraid of heights as well? So you wouldn't be soaring anyways. I thought you were afraid of heights. <laughs> oh, hush. <laughs> <laughs> but two times! They did what you called out on! I think they're listening to you. <laughs> Chapter 2. Darkness. Let me... Let's see... Pen... There we go. I think I'm going to clip out that Oh Hush. <laughs> and put it on the soundboard. Hehehehe. <laughs> starting to regret coming down here. <laughs> I was regretting it minutes ago. Well, better watch our step. Oh, never mind. Holy. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. Do you think the villagers know about this place? I very much doubt it. Oop. Our search has not been in vain. Let's clear this area. What the heck is that? Uh, let's see, Marco. I'm definitely gonna be impatient, but did you check out the game I suggested? Uh, like, look at what it was. Uh, if not, that's fine. I haven't looked at it yet. I was away to get dinner at the aunt and uncles. For the half dinner, not yet. But yeah, it was Concrete uh, Genie, right? And let's see, damn, she really is like Paimon. First it was getting dark and now I'm getting flashbanged. Marco, that's me, pizza. Uh, pizza lover, pizza boy, uh, yes. <laughs> okay, yes, it was to uh, it being Concrete uh, Genie. Now I'll check it after the stream here. Did you accidentally call him Marco? No, they, they, they said that in the chat there. <laughs> yeah, they said that with question mark. Oh, I didn't even know that one was there. Uh, let's see, how many keys do we have? Okay, Haley's transmitter. With this device, you can make transactions with Haley from anywhere in the world. Oh, oh it's blue tin. Confirmation, you did call him Marco by mistake. Okay. We have five keys, so we can open this one up. Okay. X, Y, Y. Okay. Warm, warm pretzels. Okay. <laughs> Why would someone want to lock away pretzels in a chest? And warm it ones at that. Warm. There must have been a heater in there or something. 
I just want some magic, folks. I should go get a pretzel tomorrow. Even though I have a dentist appointment the day after. Uh, let's see here. From Pizza Lover? First Ricky calling me Pizza Boy, then you mistaking me with Mark. Yeah, it was more me reading out your line there. Let's see, lots of wind over that way. Oops. Okay, I've looked for a moment like we could pass through. And we need the slide to make any more... Where did you come from? The walls? Would not be too surprising. Were, were they supposed to spawn before? Uh, let's see, first... Okay. Yep. There. Okay. Oh, oh, the beams even move a bit. Okay. Okay. Oh, we need... We need an explosive there. Is there one nearby? What the heck is this? Oh, random key. Uh, no, uh, I think it might be something else. This looks like caramelized gelon or something. Or... Um, Solidified magma. Glass? Let's see, is there supposed to be a bomb down here or something? Oh, oh, oh right, there is it. Oh, okay, we pull it loose. It goes up into the air by the airstream. That is why these things spawn, to slow us down. Okay. And it should be somewhere around here then. Okay. This might be some kind of clay even. Go more wall chicken. Ooh, a bunch of keys over there. But we can't reach that. Yeah, we we don't have enough movement downwards to get that. Let's see. Nope. How did I can't control the wind? I'm sure. Uh, no, we can whip up a small storm, but we can't control the wind. Oh, hello, you're persistent. Uh, wasn't the bomb supposed to be here? Or did it blow up on something? Maybe? Let's see. There it goes. Okay. And there it is. Okay. It's more sort of a vacuum than actually controlling the winds. Yeah. I'll be controlling the wind every time I vacuum a room. <laughs> uh, hello. Dust, wait. This creature is too well defended for a straightforward assault. We'll see about that. Yeah, it has a massive stone shield. And claw. Yeah. Okay, that was a bad idea. It is practically invulnerable unless you stun it with a parry, like so. Okay. He went down! Dust, would you like a refresher on parrying? Oh, uh, well, I still know it. Be careful. Just attack and hold before they can bring in their... Er, before they can bring in their attack. It's oh. a pizza lover, protagonist, being able to use wind and having a small flying mascot, emergency food. <laughs> That's Ow. a Genshin joke. Wait, what? Yep. <laughs> Hello. Whoa, what was that? 
I'm not sure, but it sure did run off in a hurry. Okay. There. There we go. Cleaned up. Anything this way? I think this just leads to the same places. There we go. Okay, for a moment I thought we were struck by our own spell there. And there are only a few games where you can do that, I think. You've been poisoned. When you're poisoned, your life slowly drains down to nothing. If you don't take care of it soon, death is inevitable. Well, I can probably just wait it out. Stop pretending you're so tough. Here, take this mushroom. It'll stop the poison for now. You can thank me later. Okay, blue mushrooms. Uh, yeah, let's see. Plus 20 health poison antidote. A bitter aroma emanates from this mysterious mushroom. Yeah, let's gobble that down before we die. Okay. I like that it does little, uh, anim little cutscenes for the status effects with that. Oh, that was a deeper drop than I thought. Oh, hello. No, oh, you are definitely going to try and poison me as well, so let's burn that out. What the heck was that? Some sort of spider. Oop. Uh, did you, you didn't count the legs, did you? Nope, I was more focused on just killing it. You had four. Yeah. Nope, oh, blueprints. And some cinnamon buns. Ooh. Okay, uh... Yeah. Oops, stat screen. Total completion, 23%. World Explorer, 30%. 12% of... <laughs> Fidget just sitting on the hilt of a sword. Is that... Oh, wait, that's the... That's the is that the Blade of Aura that he's sitting on? It looks a bit... It, it is, and yeah, yeah, is spoke that badly. Yeah, what did I say then? You said shit. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Helmione uh, Hel Pendant? This pendant once belonged to a very loving grandmother. She had hoped to pass it on to her grandchildren. Okay, plus two attack, 12 defense, and four luck. We have a stronger attack pendant at the moment. Um, let's gonna grab a refill on my drink. Hmm. And no other rings. Okay. Uh, pizza, like you, uh, like you killed the uh, daddy of the small being that ran away. Uh, I think it was that was its daddy. I uh, don't think so. Here, and then we take the high road again. That thing looked a bit, looked a lot more like a toad of sorts, not yeah, whatever that spider scorpion thing was. Or maybe more like an ant. Yeah, probably more ant-like. I don't know. If, yeah, four legs. Still is trying to use poison, so it's some sort of bug. Hey, what about your aunt? <laughs> Not aunt. Ant. <laughs> oh, there we go. Wait. Well, he's not going to wait. Let's follow him. Let's see, pizza. Oh my god, I'm saying that the small being was the child of the big-ass golem that you just slaughtered. Okay, maybe maybe that, yeah. 
But that thing still looked more stone than anything else. The thing looked stone. That one thing there we also saw run away. It looks more amphibian. Why did I break, uh, grab an extra Dorito bag? I'm not gonna eat more Doritos. There, just nuke everything with fire. Take that. Hmm. There you go, now I'm back. Oh, hello. Uh, the shopkeep down here. Ah, hello again, my friend. I suspected you would return. Okay, any new materials we can sell? Actually, yes. Hound's teeth. Yellowish teeth from a rock hound. Okay. There. And let's see. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hmm? Two things on two legs and massive teeth that extend outwards like a damn goblin shark or rock hounds. Apparently. They do hmm. remove the look like a hound. Just buy another key. Your transaction is most appreciated. Watch your back, my friend. It just nuke absolutely everything for a 200 plus combo. <laughs> nope. And somehow that launched us up through the freaking floors, it seems. Yep. Then I accidentally parry the last one remaining. Nope, there's a bomb flower here. And the survivor and somehow. And more pretzels. Okay, I'm guessing you're going to be used somewhere around here. Yep, well, we, we used it to nuke and one of the rock counts in a different way. Okay. Kimbab. What is, is Kimbab? Now some sort of sushi dish from the looks of the picture. And hold on. Nice try. Okay, a key. And chicken. Mm -hmm. An upflow, but nowhere to actually go with that. So this is a dead end for now. Still stuff to be found here, according to the minimap. Hmm. Anything this way? Oh, yes, there is. Okay. More kimbap. It, it just looks like long sushi rolls. The Ring of the Scavenger. Let's see. The Ring of a Poor Man Who Lives uh, Who Lived on the Out uh, on the Outliers of Civilized Society. 1.5 times item drop. Okay. Uh, let's exchange you then, because you give more luck. And well everything else. Let's see, pizza. And a merchant being there in the worst areas or the strangest area ever is somehow always expecting you. Uh, and somehow never dead or attacked from the literal enemies who attack anything that moves. Yeah. They're all hiding in a tent. Yeah, it could be some spell or something on that. Taking those. Okay. Hmm. 
Okay, where is the way up from here then? Not the way that uh, the rock hound was going anyways. Oh, we got the uh, we got another blueprint because I'm pretty sure we already had that blueprint for the Helmi Hel Helmieno Mieni Yeah. Pendant. And it then it just rains loot. Let's see. At least God of War had an explanation for that. Hmm. I've never actually played God of War myself, and hello. Now, hello to you too. Yep. There we go. Oh, that, that was a lot easier. Another level. Okay, you had you had to set an altar level in. Yep. Just to ease things along. Uh, let's see. Well, then I won't spoil. Now, I have seen all but the last of the God of War games through playthroughs and Let's Plays. But I just don't remember how they did that. But I watched a little God of War and I... Yeah, sorry. I... I need the feel for it. Yeah, it's a spectacle fighter, so... It is mostly meant to be played yourself. Yeah, th that as well, but also... I just gonna get into the story. Okay. Just keep two buttons pressed and everything dies. Okay. Hello. And goodbye. There we go. It, it, there's just something that remains funny about just a bunch of corpses landing on the ground after that. <laughs> Ooh, a bag. Uh, oh, they didn't fall to the death. They were falling to attack you. We actually on our stats yeah like i thought it's it's distributing the we yeah, are distributing them evenly here we go burn the bug burn another bug all right hmm there we go, fully cooked. <laughs> now there's a way to get up and a way to the sides, but this way is blocked. Uh, Why is there a glistening sheep down here? Uh, I was just comment that, but it seems you took a bit while for you to notice it. Uh, let's see, pizza. Well, I mean, in the God of War games, the newest one, basically, the merchant stays in the realm between realms so that they are never attacked by monsters and can stay hidden and appear in the strangest of places like an area filled with monsters without being dead. Uh, sheeps are cool. <laughs> they provide wool. Uh, sheeps are hot because their wool provides heat. Yeah, I, I remember something in the second last of the God of Wars that the dwarves, uh, yeah, they know secret ways to get around. Oh, hello. No! Go away! There he goes. Forget him. Take a look around. There's something horribly wrong with these mushrooms. These aren't mushrooms, Fidget. They are called bubble sprouts. And it would be wise for us to tread lightly around them. 
They react rather explosively to movement. Wonderful. Okay, so it's Bloms all over again. Um, any other problems as she is flapping? Yeah, it's more proximity. Also, well done, Pizza Lover. You made a hill at Enter Pardons about sheep. <laughs> you just gotta keep an eye out for which ones are triggering. And apparently, we don't even have to be near them. <laughs> Hello? I am here to serve. Uh, let's see, my little bro, st uh, stop dropping your items everywhere you run away. <laughs> oh god, no, this is getting me uncharted PS <laughs> PTSD. <laughs> okay. New stuff to sell? Yes. Squirt bug arm, the tentacle like arm of a squirt bug. Okay. And then hound hide, the thick, flaky leather of a rock hound. Okay. And again, we have something new. Master Ring of Vigilance. Belong to a young warrior rewarded for his vigilance. Plus two attack. Three times item drop. Okay. Wait. But it's 2,000. We have two of them? Hmm. Yeah. Um, okay, let's buy one of these. Oh, you bought it. Your trans. Yeah. Watch your... I yes. thought you already had it. No. Okay, we can swap out this one. And probably sell some of these older rings. I am okay. uh, brutal augment, an unsightly arrangement of wooden nails. Okay. Still not better than the one that we made a blueprint that we had a blueprint of. Uh let's see from the pizza over here. Of what a bug? <laughs> a squirt there is bug. No... Can you repeat, repeat that? <laughs> there is no uh, way you said what I think you did. Yeah, it says it's right here. The tentacle like arm of a squirt bug. Your transaction is most appreciated. Thank you. Okay. <gasps> And from Pizza Lover? Oh, Lord! <laughs> no idea what Axelarius brought for there. Dude, hello. And very much a goodbye. Burn! In holy fire! <laughs> Just absolutely nuclear on these things, huh? Swing actually managed to dodge me for a moment. And I think I saw something. Okay. Oh, wait. That's the way forwards. And I'm guessing that there is something hidden around here. It would be nice to have a more localized map for each of these rooms. But at least things aren't too complicated. Hello. Blueprint. And we. And we go. At the. Okay, the game got unselected for task manager. Okay. Oh, that leads... Okay. I overlooked the fact that there's a passageway between those two rooms. But we can't make any progress there. So... Yeah, let's move on. Uh. Also, I'm surprised we haven't made a joke about uh, me not eating these mushrooms. I'm pretty sure I would stay away from glowing mushrooms anyways. on little ones, huh? You will most definitely regret meeting me. 
keep wary of the bubble sprouts dust where this battle will be over before it begins yeah with how quickly we've killed the previous few oh, oh. and oh they get poisoned as well There we go. And there he goes again. And there he goes again. <laughs> You're welcome, kid. Third okay. time! <laughs> okay, give me a moment on this. <laughs> That's <laughs> bloody third time! Come now, Dust. He's obviously terrified. Let's go find him, and maybe get out of this raining death. Okay, <laughs> literally what you said. Never like mu it much when games invade my files uh, and start doing crap. Mud pots. Okay. I didn't think those monsters were smart enough to build a fence. I'm certain they didn't. Let's hop on over. Right into the sheep pen. There he is! Your father's done gonna have himself a heart attack after he hears about this. I'm sorry, Mama. Goodness, what would I do if you'd gotten yourself hurt? How'd they jump my fence? Crafty vermin, those surface dwellers. It was barely ankle height, almost. She does see that I can fly, right? <laughs> I'll be sure to tell her, Fidget. I'm sure that'll clear things right up. Back! Back, you beast! I got this ear spoon and I ain't afraid to use it! Does it actually make extra sense that the people on the ground in a 2D game speak Southern? Because, well, they're down south, quite literally, from the perspective. Do you make a little Nicky joke? If I did, it wasn't intentional. We aren't here for trouble, ma'am. In fact, we just saved your son. What are they talking about, Bobo? Um, well, they have been following me for a while. What? How far out did you go? I may just save the spoon for you. Uh, I'm sorry. We just came down from the surface to... Do I look like some country bumpkin to you? Of course yes. you're uh from the surface. I think I'd remember seeing a talking... Flying weasel cat thing down here. <laughs> did, uh, did we both say yes <laughs> to her question? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think we got off on the wrong foot here. My name is Dust, and this is Fidget. Some creatures attacked a village above these caves, and we're trying to figure out why. Attacked a surface village, you say? Well, if that don't beat all. We underground folk tend to keep to ourselves. Got enough problems of our own already. I'm sorry to hear that. Actually, what I'm saying is, we got enough problems of our own without you surface folk bringing all that nonsense down here. So, if you don't mind... Come on, Dust. We're obviously not wanted here. <laughs> Wait! That's enough, Bopo! You ought to get back to your chores before I take out the spoon again! You've already got it unsheathed, ma'am. Mama, I've seen them fight! They even got themselves a talking sword! I bet they could help! Young man, I don't care if their sword spouts rainbows and bowls of delicious baked beans. I don't <laughs> want their help! Stop saying that! How's gonna die if we don't do something? Die? What's going on? Well, our healing wells have gone and run dry. And my pa's done gotten real sick. That's why I went out. 
to find some more of that water. I hate saying it, but it's true. See these mud pots lying around? Normally they're bubbling to the brim with mineral water, but just a few weeks ago, they dried up to nothing. Similar to how the rivers upstairs have dried out. Or drying yeah. out. I still don't excuse you from putting yourself in danger like that. I may not be able to help your father, but I sure as heck ain't gonna lose you too. Mama. I wonder if those monster attacks on the surface could be related to your wells drying up. I wouldn't be at all surprised. It's been a couple weeks since the water dried up. But every creature here is feeling the effects. I'll bet those creatures broke through to the surface looking for more water. Mama, maybe these two can go talk to the lady. The lady? Oh, she's a sweet old soul. Lives deep in the caves, makes the waters flow. She doesn't show herself around here too often, and we can't actually go see her on account of all the nasties living between here and there. In that case, I'll go speak with this lady and see why she stops the flow of water. You do that? This can't all just be a coincidence. The attacks on the surface, your wells drying up. I'm certain this lady must know something about what's going on. Well then, I had you folks pegged all wrong. If you aim to help my husband, I promise not to clock you with my wooden spoon of justice. <laughs> um... Thanks. So, you're heading down to talk to the lady now? You'll help my pa? We'll do our best, Bopo. Just don't go running off again. You got my word. Hmm. I have the feeling Bopo's being voiced by one of the uh, original uh, uh, of the triplets from uh, DuckTales. They, they very, sound very similar, at least. Yeah. <clears throat> He's sleeping peacefully. Let's leave him alone. Okay. Yeah, sounds like the entire region has water problems. Hello? Oh, it's a pretty kitty cat. What? Me? She's not a cat, little girl. She's a... Oh, I don't even know what she is. I'm not a cat, you dolt. I'm a nimbat. Is that what you're called? A nimbat? Yes, hello. My name's Fidget. Maybe we'd met? You never mentioned that, <laughs> Dumbo. Can I hold it? I want it. <laughs> Just it's trying to grab me with its little child hands. You can literally fly. Just stay out of reach, Bridget. Don't worry, Fidget. Sorry, um, uh, what's your name? Smobop. <laughs> Smobop, okay. Well, Smobop, I'm sorry, but as much as she might look like one, Fidget is not a toy. Hey! Ooh, I want her! She talks! I'll trade you. Look, I've got this box thing. Hey, Dust, look. That must be Reed's box. Hello. Hmm. Tell you what, next time I go to the surface, I'll see if I can find a suitable replacement. Then we'll trade. Phew. Good idea, Dust. You know, that shop in Aurora had some things. Maybe the shopkeeper could figure something out for us? Yeah, maybe you can make us some kind of fidget doll for her. After all, she's far too young to take care of a pet like you. <laughs> yeah, way too much responsibility for... Hey! <laughs> Boot drops. <laughs> uh, let's see. That level up. I thought you, you exploded a kid first. Let's see, pizza, let's see. For them it was head height. Uh, let's see, woman, you have a spoon, I have a sword. A 3D sword at that. 
so we cool all of a sudden. Didn't you want to bash in my skull with a wooden spoon? I think she would have been. She would have had better luck trying to punch uh, dust in the groin with it. That, that probably would have been about as high as she could reach. She is an emergency. She is a mascot and emergency food. She does look like a bat, and I think about it and see her carefully. <laughs> oh god, a fetch quest. <laughs> okay. Now, let's see. There's some other exits around here. Let's see. Oh, hello. Well, hi there, big fella. Am I hearing the local gossip right? You and your flying mongoose are gonna save her village? What the heck is a mongoose? Quiet, Fidget. And yes, you've heard correctly. Is this the way to the ladies' chamber? <laughs> well, yeah, but I don't think you're gonna fit through this here hole in the wall. We had to close up the passage recently to keep those crazed nematodes from coming out and attacking the village. What the heck is a nematode? Anyway, seems to me the only way you're getting through is by sliding. I'd kick you through myself, but you know, I got these fat little legs and they hardly keep me vertical. You can hardly keep your pants on. Just pull yeah, that thing I'm... tight, dude. Also, I appreciate the thoughts, but uh... I'll find another way around. Go ahead. Something's growing from his back. Yeah, mushrooms. <laughs> Don't uh, eat them. Pizza, on the topic of bat, another virus has broken out in India for the second time. It started with a fruit bat like COVID, and it has no cure, no vaccine, no nothing. Anyway, he is just gonna avoid what Fidget said. <laughs> Here, boy, take this red resonance jam. It'll open up the basement, and maybe you'll find a better way down there. Just make sure to avoid impaling yourself on them spiky rocks and thorns. Wait, your underground cave has a basement? How does that make any sense? Well, for this, th for them, this is the ground floor. Hey, big fella, what do you say to me serving your flying rat a big old <laughs> jug of shut up juice? <laughs> While you're down there, why don't you make yourself useful and collect me my hitting stick? Your what? You see, I use this here stick to do my hitting, but I lost her in the basement, and I'm honestly just too gale darn lazy like to go looking <laughs> for it on my own. They don't have me standing around here for my good looks, after all. <laughs> Someone's got to defend this here hole. Okay, that at least is a better <laughs> excuse than I'm lazy. All right, Blop. If I should come across your hitting stick, I'll be sure to pick it up. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the only way he would be slowing down any attacker would be by getting eaten. <laughs> then have needing time to chew through his thick hide. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, da -da -da. Yeah, we are trying to keep it from having a worldwide lockdown and pandemic all over again. I know some people who need that shut up juice. <laughs> Hello, dear. <laughs> I'm going to hazard a guess that you're the outsider in town. Nah, we were born I here five, 50 that years much, ago. Huh? Well, it's been years since I've seen someone like you. And it's been maybe 30 years since I've seen a nimbat like your friend here. What a treat! We don't like flying into caves. You know, the dark, the cramped spaces, the endless, endless gloom. That's endless, forever. I'm sorry, look at me going on. My name is Flo Hop. And my husband, Gappy, is up there in the pen, minding the sheep. He's been so overworked that I was hoping to make him his favorite stew. But to be honest, I'm having trouble growing red moss with the wells running dry. I think I might have gone and made my last stew. I could always help you find some of that red moss, if you like. Oh, I couldn't bother you for something as silly as that. I know where they used to grow, but with all these monsters about, I dare not leave Mud Pot. It's no trouble, really. If I come across any, I'll bring them to you. Well, aren't you a sweet one? Red moss clumps grow at the base of the large red mushrooms, and they tend to prefer perfect darkness. Just don't hurt yourself on my account. In fact, take this ring. It'll provide a little bit of light in the darkest of places. 
Okay, that'll be nice. Let's Fine. see. Pizza. Uh, oh my god, finally someone who knows what this flying thing is. No, no woman, can you actually bother me? I'm gonna go get those moss clumps. <laughs> we need to get experience from somewhere. Well, good evening, youngin. How does anyone know what time of day it is down here? I hear the two of you are helping out Popa. He's in a bad way. Excuse me, my friends. Hope you don't mind, but I gotta get back to searching. Did you lose something? Actually, I did. I must have left the gate open because my flock of sheep seems to have gone astray. I'm afraid some of them may have gone past the edge of town. I'll keep my eyes open for them. Well, thank you, son. There's six of them out there somewhere. Believe you me, they're in for a good talking to when I get my hands on them. Maybe seen one of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm guessing that's the graveyard. <laughs> uh, let's see. T -t 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 Pizza. There's like 50 ads quests in this damn village. <laughs> not yeah, that they're, many. They're, they are a bit short handed on help. And not just because they're short. Uh, do we? Oh, uh, I see what's going on. Pizza lover. You don't like fit squish, uh, do you? They, they are typically the sort of gay and uh, sort of uh. There. Wait, did you just? Hmm. Did you just put that thing in your inventory? Yeah. What? Okay then. <laughs> Just gonna lean on that fourth wall a bit. Wait, what, what did you pick up? Nope, not that. Not that either. That. Cappy sheep. One of Cappy's lost flock. <laughs> okay. And we have a way up to the surface. All right. Hello. Uh, okay. Something from uh, Pizza Lover. I hate the first quest of the plenty a game. Why yeah. did I? Why did you go southern? Yeah, why did I go southern? <laughs> okay. I'll Let's blame come here. Let's see. I played a game and the amount of goddamn fucking annoying ass fast quest was too much. Hello there, Gihan. Ah, Dust. Thank you again for your help. How's your leg doing? I think I'll be all right. Just need some time to think is all. Is there anything else? It sounds like you've got something on your mind. <laughs> it's not obvious, eh? Very well. I haven't told Oneida, but I do believe I lost my pocket watch when those giants attacked us. Oh, and it's valuable? To me, yes. To the both of us, really. It was a wedding gift from her father. In fact, it's really the only thing we have to remember him by. Yeah. I think I may have dropped it outside the farm, just before those creatures chased us back here. With my leg the way it is, I really can't be out looking for it. I'll go take a look. Thank you, Dust. Really, you don't know how much this means to me. Probably less than your life, but still a good amount. What was that that the fidget just did there? It was actually sent some out some out some sort of wave. Okay. Well, whilst we're here, let's go talk to the shopkeep. See if we can do a bit of arts and crafts. Gianni, I want to ask you about a boy named Corbin. Ah, have you seen him? Where has that foolish boy run off to? I was hoping you could tell me. He must still be wasting time in Ivydale Glen. I just knew I shouldn't have trusted that boy with cleaning my fabrics. What? Corbin is doing your laundry outside the village? I do not see why this is so difficult to comprehend. But then I suppose you don't have the capacity for rational thought. 
If you are so concerned, maybe you should go look for him instead of waffling about. Oh, I'll find him. Then we're going to have a little chat. And I believe the mediator is going to be Aura. Rather, he's sharp ends. And yeah, I'm pretty sure he's supposed to be Italian. <sighs> Mosca, I'm afraid I'm I sure. have some bad news. Bo? Is everything all right? We traveled to Denim. It's been burnt to the ground. What? Oh, no. No, no, no! But there was a note. It's addressed to you from somebody named Sarahi. Sarahi? Oh, thank goodness. She must be alive. She must have escaped. Please, let me see it. What do you think, Mosca? She mentions a place that only the two of us know about. It's a hidden cove not far from here. Please, Dust, go there and see if she's safe. I'll be following, but I'm no fighter. If you insist on coming along, be sure to keep your distance. Yeah, when Dust starts swinging that sword, you don't want to be anywhere near him. Have you seen the scream? He just goes... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the fourth wall leaning just adds a little bit of uh, a little bit of humor to this game with how dark it can be at certain points, huh? Yeah, do, I do find fourth wall humor can be a risky thing to do. Yeah, you don't. You sh should definitely make sure not to overdo it. Welcome back. Do you sell uh, children's you... toys, or more specifically, Nimbat dolls? A Nimbat doll? You mean like your flying friend there? I don't believe we have anything like that in stock. But I aim to please. I'm certain I could craft one for you, assuming I had the proper materials. Let me see. With some cotton fabric and dye, I'm certain I could make a wonderful Nimbat doll for you. I gotta say, Dust, I'm feeling a little uneasy about this whole thing. Yeah, uh, let's see. Pizza. Uh, da -da. Now she dead. Dead as hell. Unless it's a Deadpool game, then you can break the fourth wall every second. What's to but feel uneasy <laughs> about, Fidget? You're adorable. I think I might have him make another Fidget doll that I'll just hang on to. Forever. Uh, I would say Deadpool's thing is full wall breaking. That's his character. Yeah. And if you plan to do full wall humor, <laughs> make sure the yokes are good. For you could end up even with a few ones, you could end up making some few bad yokes. Yeah, just get annoying with it. Excellent! You've brought all the materials! Would you like me to make the doll now? Yeah. Wonderful! Now, if your companion will just lie down on this fabric... Hey, you're not tracing me! <laughs> oh, well, I do need some sort of measurement. <laughs> we don't see many Nimbats around here. Here, give me a pen. I'll draw it myself. Yeah. Uh. Okay, there. <laughs> Done. See how well I captured every nuanced curve. Uh, nuanced curve? See, you can use this to measure your doll. It's perfect. <laughs> Let's just leave her to her delusions. <laughs> no, it really isn't. Actually, that's the worst drawing I've ever seen. <laughs> At least he's honest for a merchant. Just shut up and make this stupid doll. <laughs> okay, okay. Just give me a moment. Uh, some cotton here, a few stitches there. Uh, maybe a little more cotton up there in the head area? I don't think you're accurately capturing the pure size of Fidget's head. My head is just fine. You're the ones wearing those stupid hats. Maybe you two could form a stupid hat club. And voila! Another happy customer. And I even had enough material to make an extra one. 
No, I wasn't expecting to actually get one. I guess I'll just have to carry it around. Forever. I actually feel bad giving one of these ugly things to Smobop, <laughs> but here we go. I'm not talking to you anymore. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at that thing. It's a fidget doll. You almost can't tell this doll from the real thing. It's incredible. It, it actually looks pretty good from what we can see here. Yeah, what the heck? Uh, let's see, pizza. Okay, no, that's weird. You are weird, whatever this man said. <laughs> damn. Bro, are you the doll maker here? No, then let him do his damn thing. <laughs> okay. Oh, jeez. Big gods. I think let's with my throat of light. I don't okay. apologize, it's me leaving my throat to get annoying. One, two, three. Okay, simple pendants. We already have much better than that. And that is all the things in this little area. Okay. <clears throat> uh, what did you need again, Fail? Let's see. Uh, better than nothing. Fail wants to improve the armor worn by... Okay, five imp hides. Do we have that? Imp claw, junk that we can sell. Forty each. Four. And scrap metal. Okay, so okay, I thought that it was a hide of some sort, but no, it was scrap metal. Uh, imp hide. That's beast leather, fabric, nails, paper. Hmm. It looks like we don't have any imp hide at all. Okay. Hmm. That's kind of surprising. A Gihon's farm. Okay, we never actually got to this particular, but we got close to it. Oop. Hello. Those monsters really tore the place apart. Hey, Fidget, can you use that sixth sense of yours to find Gien's watch? Hmm, yeah, actually. I'm getting something from down that big scary hole in the ground. Why is it always a big scary hole in the ground? I'll have to get back to you on that, Fidget. In the meantime, we should clear it out for Gian and Oneida. Yeah. It'd probably be a good idea to get, to get a working farm again here. Okay. I'm not going to use a key on that. I want to keep four... Well, four... Uh, a cage, if we run into any. Let's see. Though, I guess we can't actually do anything here at the moment, since we need the slide to even make progress. <laughs> Alright then. Uh, let's see, wait. Hidden Cove, Ivydale Glen. And the caverns. Okay, we can go there straight. Yeah, we can go straight there, instead of having to go all the way around. And... Okay, this, this is actually pretty cool if you look at the surrounding area, uh, the surroundings of the map. This is actually, well, <clears throat> it's actually Fidget and Dust camping out, and Fidget's just passed out over something over there. <laughs> well, Dust is just looking at a map. That's pretty cool. Let's go take a look here. Okay. Oop, more of those things. Been a bit since we saved. Another blueprint. Yeah. And out. Oh, it's into in the stream. Okay. We can still Move get a me. thing or two done. Yeah, they, we really don't have to wait until those things open wide for a breath to get rid of them. Nope, hello. And very much goodbye. Hey, are you here to help me? Please tell me you're here to help me. 
Let me guess, you're Corbin? You know your sister's been looking everywhere for you. I had to hide in here with all those monsters around. Well, they're all gone, so you should be safe now. Are you hurt? Do you need help getting back home? I'm okay, I think. I know how to get home by myself. I come here lots, but there were never any monsters. You'd better go while it's clear out there. I still need to get Mr. Johnny's laundry. I dropped it down there, and I don't want to get in trouble. No, Corbin. You go home. I'll take care of it. Oh, wow, thanks. Here, take this. You'll need it if you go down there. A white resonance gem. That should come in handy. Thank you. Now, go on. Hurry back to town. Okay, that is definitely useful. Seriously? We're going after that jerk's laundry? We're going on a laundry quest? I wouldn't want Gianni blaming that poor kid for what's happened. Come on, we'll kill some monsters on the way. It'll be great. Plus, we can tear it to shreds ourselves. Uh, let's see, pizza. Jesus fucking Christ, I did not think the clouds will, uh, would not uh, would not go boom boom that hard. Is his name Giovanni? No, it's Gianni. I think there's a perfume or something like that. A name like that. Maybe? Just nuke everything. Well, here's where Corbin drops the basket. Might as well return it for him. Do mine eyes deceive me? Or did he accidentally drop it near a poison ivy bush? <laughs> Fidget, what's going on in that twisted little brain of yours? Nothing, nothing. I'm just saying. Wouldn't it be a shame if some poison ivy fell into his basket? You know, completely by accident. <laughs> or, you know, not. You are positively evil, Fidget. But... <laughs> yes, with this poison I will have rain retribution upon you, Gianni's wicked soul. Good, good. This'll show that meaning not to push poor little kids around. You said it. But remember, if we get caught, I'm going to blame you. Fine, whatever. With... Pleasure. That meanie. It's just lucky I don't foreclose on his face. What? What? You know, it's like <laughs> he didn't pay the mortgage on his face. Then I bite it off. Foreclose. Okay, never mind. <laughs> we tested four time. But this time was with me. <laughs> okay. Now, we're going to need that to blow our way out. Yep, there. Ow. Did, did the bomb hit me there or the slime? I think both. Actually, I don't think... I don't even know if the bomb can hurt us. Okay. Come down. Pluck this thing like a freaking plum. And there we go. Okay. Is there anything else around here? Oh, yes, there is. Okay, just this is the way out. There is still something here, according to the mini map. Oh, the chicken. Let's see. I'm guessing somewhere up there or something. Oh well. Uh, let's see, da -da -da. pizza lover, uh, close enough. Pokemon Team Rocket is Giovanni, he is evil, both of you are pretty similar. A, a pro of them. Okay. Uh, let's actually go to the Hidden Cove. Ah, we need slide to get through that. Okay. Let's hand in, uh, let's hand in the laundry then. Yeah, before we save. <laughs> Alright, Gianni, let's talk. 
Would you mind telling me why you have a child running errands outside the village with monsters around? Well, I certainly can't be running around outside myself. Those monsters, they are dangerous. So, where is that Corbin brat? He's lucky I'm the patient's type, and I didn't report his laundry thievery to the guards. Well, after rescuing him, we sent him back to the village. Rescuing him, you say? Is he all right? Yes, he'll be fine. A bit shaken up, but... Fine, fine. And uh, what of my laundry? Surely, after all that time he spent out there, it must be cleaned by now. Yeah. Yeah, Gianni, here, A moment. take your laundry. But you're never going to ask Corbin to leave the village again. Do you understand? Um, well, when you put it so threateningly, I suppose I have little choice in the matter. Good. For your sake, you should hope we don't have to talk again. Believe me, I will avoid it if I can help it. You know what? I kind of hate this guy. And I would just love to maul his face off. Manners, Fidget. It's what separates us from the animals. <laughs> okay. Uh, right. It was a short moment. Uh, he asked for. Oh, maybe he's not that bad. And then but he doubled uh, down. Then he doubled down, yeah. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's see, we've got a few more minutes, so let's go down back to the village through a faster way. No, 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 you need to talk to the sister. Um, uh, right, Corbin she should sister. be somewhere over here. She should be somewhere over here. So I think the, the quest is done, I think. But we'll see. Just, we just keep back flipping around. Oh, there you are. me before you're welcome Corbin and just be a little smarter next time all right it's too dangerous out there for a kid like you and don't worry about Gianni I'll sort him out yeah like the laundry <laughs> yeah we'll fold him all right <sighs> yes fidgets like the laundry okay okay thanks again you know you're a pretty good fighter well, I... You're so strong? I'll bet you'd have no problem getting a 1,000-hit combo! <laughs> of course he wouldn't! He could do it in his sleep! Sleep combo! Fidgets, calm down! Whoa! Do you really think you could do it? A 1,000-hit combo? Sure, why not? Oh, wow! Awesome! Hey! When you hit for the 1,000th time, you should say, this one's for Corbin! Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. But I'll try to get the combo just for you. <laughs> I'm really just like, where's the <laughs> combo oh, where's breaker? <laughs> okay, yeah, we already finished the quest. Didn't need Wait, to you... talk to her. Well, so you couldn't talk to her at all, all right? Yeah, we could well, talk she's... to her, but it would be of no real benefit. <laughs> I thought she was to give you a reward. I think we got the experience uh, and everything. Okay. Now, let's head on over here. Actually, I think I know a way to figure it out. Let's check the quest. Let's see. Quests. Combo breaker over the fence. Red moss, hidden stick, a better fidget. The doll is now complete. Despite fidget's absolutely terrible reference wrong, it didn't turn out half bad. Uh, give the doll to Schmobop in Mod Pot. <laughs> okay, fail once imp hides, what's in the box, and reunion. Yeah, we finished the quest. Okay, okay there must be a bomb somewhere around. Okay, but first we need to go get the slide somewhere. And I'm guessing it's going to be downwards. Uh, okay, that that's into the basement. So it's a bit... Yeah, there you are. Okay, Smobop. Here's a fidget doll for you. Better than the real thing. 
Yeah, it doesn't talk. Ooh, she's pretty. Here, you can have this. Thanks, Smobop. Hmm, <laughs> Bob gave it to me a little while ago. He found it near the surface, I think. Well, thank you. Enjoy your fidget. I love my doll. I love her so much. Love, love, love. Okay, <laughs> she's happy at least. And the stream timer went off, so when we find a save point, we'll call it there. So I'm presuming we're going to find one right there. <laughs> yeah, I also just say here, I was just trying to press, didn't, didn't say anything. Yeah, she's probably, she's probably completely done with the freaking doll thing. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Pizza. Isn't that a case of child labor, child abuse, and child endangerment? Call the cops on this man. I think the only cops we have around are the two guards. And they're busy at the western side of the village. Uh, let's see. Probably not child abuse. He probably would have gone for that if we hadn't give, if given him a stern talking to. Uh, let's see. Move over here at least as well. Let's see. Pizza. No shit, Sherlock. I'm strong and cool. <coughs> okay, suddenly slime in my throat there. Anyways, that'll be oh, it for oh. dust for today. <clears throat> let me strange yeah, let me change the screen share so we can go look for someone to raid. Uh let's see who are on at the moment. Do you have a suggestion again, Pizza? Let's still take a look around here. We have uh, Armchair General with Rainbow Six Siege. Reef the Leaf with Mega Man Battle Network 2. Swalbe with Under Rail again. And Lazarus is playing Ratchet and Clank. The, oh, the Sleeping Foxy is playing Palio. Let's see. We waited them a, a bit ago. Uh, paint Charades. Oh, uh, man. Okay, that must be a feature they've got going on here. Uh, let's see. Italian, English. Okay. Uh, next, we have Chubbers the Moon Seal, but we rated them recently already, so they're off the list. Torpid Typist is playing Near Automata as well. Apparently, it looks like that game is getting popular again. Uh, Theory Pop is playing Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut. Big V Streams with Saints Row the Third. Halloween with Daymare 1998 again. Touch Scaly Tail with Deep Rock Galactic. Alex Jordan VO with Baldur's Gate 3. Luke Rebo is on uh, with Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. Okay. <clears throat> Any of those sound of interest or should we go look for someone else? I let you pick this one. <clears throat> uh, let me see. Lashers we did recently. Theory pop maybe. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Pizza. Uh, now, how many goddamn streamers I got live? I'd say go find a new person. Uh, let's take a lo uh, look. We've got two pints playing Amnesia the Bunker. Clamps RPG with Jade Cocoon, Story of the Tamamayu. That's a new one. Kuro Sami VT with Karaoke Party. Impossibles with Elden Ring. Oh, that's karaoke, not karaoke. Yeah, good. Karaoke Party. Uh, Bad Space King with Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. And Swix Gabo with a special event. Okay, a 3D model giveaway. That sounds fishy. Let's see. Pizza, if I may suggest a game, look on like on Twitch. Uh, okay, what game would you suggest, Pizza? In the meantime, I'm going to take a peek at these. Let's see. From what I've heard, Amnesia the Bunker is a really great horror game, but I'm just not much into horror games. And... Let's see. It's get easily. Wait, is this not not that easily? Let's see. 
Uh, Dark Souls or Red Dead Redemption 2. Let me take a peek if they are even on the front page here. Uh, up there. Okay, anyone over here who looks a bit interesting? Um, okay, now. Nah. Uh, let's go raid the Sleeping Foxy. In part for me to remember who that is again. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, pizza. Oh, now I have hard conditions. So I can't do horror. Okay. Well, this is definitely the opposite of horror. So copy the name. Slash raid and paste. But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who's been watching now or later. Thank you, Pizza. Thank you, Marco. And uh, thank you, Sensei, for lurking. I do see you there. <laughs> And thank you as always, Drakir. You back him as always, my friend, and thank you all for joining. And yeah, I hope to see you soon again. Uh, see, I uh, hope to see you soon too, Pizza. We'll be back on Tuesday, most likely, with uh, a new game, Warhammer 40k: Dawn of War. <laughs> oh yeah! For now, <laughs> let's start the raids. Okay, no block, no follower chats. Okay, <clears throat> and yeah. Thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for uh, zombie seagulls and other underworld monsters. <laughs> okay.